Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try, my name is Retromation and this is Arco, a cross between a real-time and turn-based tactics RPG that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. The game has fantastic glowing reviews, it seems really up my alley, and we're gonna go to see what it's all about. Act 1, Pilgrimage. There once lived the boy. The boy's family lived off the land, and all was well. One day, the boy's whole village went on a pilgrimage to visit the sacred tree, a holy place for their people. But they stopped just short of their destination. Left mouse button or WAC to move around. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're... Okay, we're over here. Alright, scooch around. Hello. Your dad is sharpening arrows. Why are we stopped here? When are we going to visit the sacred tree? There is no rush. Best tread carefully. Need help with anything? No, but Oatley was looking for you. I saw him on the west side of camp. Okay. Is that... Which one is... Is that you? Teiko, there you are. Yeah, it's your lucky day. Because I'm in need of some help. Ah, uh, that's me. I'm real lucky. That's the right attitude. Glad you see it that way. Listen, poor Roberto is shooting snot like a cannon. Poor Roberto? The... is it a... The donkey? Oh, it's nothing too serious. Little Yarrow will fix him up real good. Maybe you could visit the grove nearby to get some. I'd go myself, but... You know what would happen if I left Roberto all alone? Now I've marked it on your map nice and big. Yarrow, big white flowers. Can't miss it. Meadow was added to the map. Tell Roberto he can count on me. Travel to the neighboring locations by going to the edge of the current location, interacting with the map icon. Okay. Off I go. You can interact with various elements on your journey. Try finding the requested gear. I can presume it's going to be right here. You find some gear, but there's some black stuff on it. Uh, take only the clean yarrow. You try and separate the clean yarrow, but the black stuff clings. You end up with all of it. Ooh. Most locations have things to discover. Some are more hidden than others. I see, I see. I am going to want to dig into every corner here, but... Something shimmering in the long grass. It's a golden coin. Lucky you. Music is so unbelievably relaxing here. So if I just hit that, can we we can go to the map too? Okay, so we can click ourselves over here. The tent smells of your village. It's been weeks since you left. Well, not really, <laughs> not anymore. Pet the llama. Oh shoot, it's a llama. Gotcha. The llama sneeze blasts your face with snot. <laughs> uh, guess I asked for that. Roberto the Llama tucks his head back down, snuffling. Don't worry, kid. He'll feel better in no time once you find that Yarrow. Well, uh, about that. You can come through. Thanks, kid. Roberto only needs a bit. You can keep the rest. Oh, and here's something for your troubles. Thanks. Hold up. What's that on your hands? Oh, I cleaned some black stuff off the Yarrow. Oh, there. Don't come any closer. You better go wash that stuff off right away. Now. Yeah. What? <laughs> Roberto spits. Pretty judgmental for a llama. Get rid of the dirty arrow? I mean, uh, sure. Oatly knows what he's talking about. It takes some scrubbing, but you manage to wash a lot. Pronunciation is absolutely going to get cooked. I, I apologize there. You feel a lightness in your being. Decisions along your journey can raise or lower your character's guilt level, which represents how much journey the journey is weighing on your mind. As your guilt grows, your journey will change. So consider your actions carefully. Some decisions bring easier gain, but your demons will catch up to you eventually. Anyway, thanks, kid. Roberto and I appreciate it. Father stares off into the horizon. What's wrong? Spotted some strangers near the sacred tree. Let's brush up on your training. Let's see what you can do. Combat is split into two phases. The planning phase, where you will decide your actions according to the situation, and the action phase. Both your team and your enemies will execute their moves. Click on the ground to move. 
Move action is selected automatically. Get close to the dummies. Choose the punch action from the bottom right of the screen. Keyboard numbers or mouse. Click on your target to attack. Okay. So we will go for an attack action over here. Performing attacks will consume... Okay. Magia? Move will regenerate one. Wait regenerates three. Confirming a move action on top of your character will make you wait automatically. So we could, like, do this. Gotcha. Uh, boop. Go for a wait. Get out of here. Good work, Teko. Let's give you a moving target. Select the ground when attacking will make you... Wait. Selecting the ground when attacking will make you target a specific spot. Selecting an enemy will make you chase the target and attack when in range. Gotcha. So, like, I, I just want to see here. If I... Okay. So we can, like, run and hope. But, like, I'm curious. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so you can, like, get a little bit of extra distance. Gotcha. Not bad, kid. Hold on, let me keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight back now, so stay focused. Winning fight's pretty simple. Hit and avoid getting hit. The red icon over enemies signifies damage dealing action. Run when you see it, strike when you don't. Ooh. Uh, I was going to say, I didn't know if we were going to actually... Ah, don't split my lip now. Good work, Taiko. No, you had it in you. If the enemy right next is right next to you, you won't have time to distance yourself before they strike, so positioning is key. Great defense will keep you in the fight, but a good offense will get you out. Attacks that interrupt will stop enemy actions. Look at the bar at the bottom of the screen for your character's action info. I won't give you a window to strike now. You'll have to interrupt my attacks. So the running punch does interrupt. Okay, so the nice thing is the punch knocks him. Yeah, okay, you you got it. All right, this is actually, for a, a, a simple system, and I know for a fact we're obviously going to be getting more moves and theoretically more characters too, there's a lot of depth to how we can utilize these simple mechanics, which in my opinion is the mark of a truly good tactical RPG, personally. All right, so wait, hold on. I don't know if I'm making it out or not. I am, okay. Get in there. Okay, you made your point. Looks like you know what you're doing. Let's see what else is on the menu. Maybe next we can... Dodging is on the chopping block. Let's turn up the heat and add a little complexity. There's a turkey outside my window. Sorry, this has nothing to do with the video. There's three turkeys outside my window. This has nothing to do with the game. But it's a... Uh, what a revelation. This is an occasion. Okay. All right, back to the game. Uh, Okay. You are going to be throwing tomatoes. Move. As far as dodging... Okay, so by dodging, you mean, like, literally, like, just running out of the way. Hold and drag to curb your movements. Ooh. Uh-oh, that's not what I want to do. Well, it ended up being fine, so we can obviously interrupt. Good, time to strike back. Melee attacks are quicker than range. Get close and punch away. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> I was trying. Okay. I was hoping that, that the run was going to take longer than that. Whoa. Well, I mean, I'm, am I not getting hit here? All right. I feel like we're gonna... Okay, we are gonna make it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to step close. There we go. Because here's the thing. 
we can if he takes it a whole turn in between each time we can always move up closer to get our energy back not bad but you better keep practicing gain 10 xp time to practice your arco skills oh <gasps> the game name clicking your party opens up the management menu Manage your inventory, buy new abilities, and keep track of your missions and heal. Go to the upgrade menu to get the shoot arrow ability. Okay, where am I? I'm so small. My backpack? Wait, no. Okay. Basic range attacks lower the melee attacks. Does not interrupt. Two damage to Magia. Wow, wow, wow. So we got four. And then all of those. Okay. So yeah, clearly we're going to be getting a lot of stuff there. Here's the final test. Don't hold back, Taiko. I'm supposed to actually shoot you? Ah, they're padded arrows, kid. Your mom would kill me if I died. <laughs> you have gained a new ranged ability. It'll appear at the bottom of the screen. Ranged are safe, but usually take longer to execute, making them weaker in close combat. Understood. Oh, you're intending to move over there. What if I meet you in the middle here? So like, if, and also if I click you, different abilities use different amounts of magia, required amount of magia will be highlighted when selecting the action shown at the bottom. Regain it using the mover weight action. Some environmental elements like magia plants will also give extra magia. Okay. Rip. No. Your quick study got me good that time. Use items in your inventory to heal after combat. Your father is staring off into the horizon again. Dad? The world keeps changing. He looks at you. Do you know why Ios have survived for so long? Uh, I don't know. We adapt. There's many different peoples on Makathok. We Ios are proud of our traditions, but we've never been afraid to embrace new cultures. Let's all be adaptable father's silent for a moment you do what you have to do in order to survive but remember who you are Taiko. Uh, i'm not likely to forget well that's enough chit chat you should look for an offering for the tree after a lifetime of waking up to the same view every day it's cool to see so many new sights on this journey what journey i haven't had a journey oh my god the turkeys are fighting okay uh let me check my <laughs> find an offering for the sacred tree. Okay. Take on board. Got a gift yet for the tree? No. Well, I got a time to find her one. Okay. You have a gift for her yet? Uh, well, no. Uh huh. You notice some scratches on her knee. Bet you hurt yourself. Posa looks furtively around. I overheard the adults talking about a cave, and I went looking for it. Cool. Oh, the path was too rocky. I didn't get to see it, but I'll show you where it is. She draws a map in the sand. There we go. That's gotta be it, right? Because the sand drawings are surprisingly accurate, and you quickly find your way to the cave. Not bad for a little kid. Hope she keeps drawing. Small herd of tack tack are tearing into a patch of grass. Guess your favorite food never gets old. It did say there was stuff around, so the stench of reptilian feces assaults your nose. Ghost, talk about leaving a mess. No lizard response. Maybe you embarrassed them. It said that there was some hidden stuff, you know, sometimes just hard to find. It's dark in there, not very inviting. A choir of hisses echoes throughout the cave. What have I gotten myself into? I mean, we'll double check skills, make sure XP 12. Okay, so this heals us for one. We only have three HP, so like, what does the lizard do? That's the real cue. Oh, max distance there. Get owned. Ooh. That's still on the ground. You're intending to chomp upon me. Hmm. You're coming right up to my face. You're you're gonna chomp though. 
Wow, okay, there's some range on that. Crap. Do a safe little punch, because we wanted to get that recharge. When he's moving, that's when we take our turn to move, so we can get him with the punch, punch, wombo combo. All right, <laughs> new skills available. Gained lizard eggs. Our camp trader would buy these. Gain plus one magia. Okay, that's actually a really big deal. <laughs> like, it... is that all? That's all here right now. I guess so. <clears throat> oh, those lizard eggs! Yeah, it turns out the cave is full of a heap of angry lizards. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. So Talali has been looking for lizard eggs. I bet she'd trade you something cool from a caravan. Nice, I'll go find her. Take your, what I, can I do for you? Anything cool lately? For sure, I got a rattler tail off some Tuag traders. Cool. The tails make great neat rattling noises. Might be a good offering for the sake of treat. Can I have it? Can have anything for a price. What price? Lizard eggs. Trade if you got any. I let's go. Here you go. Finest dead snake tail I've got. Cool. Hope the sacred tree likes it. Oh, I'll be rich one day. Sure, I'll see you then. All right. Got that for the sacred tree. Your family's gathered by the campfire. Hey, kid. Come sit by the fire. I've got a story. And there's food. I'll be there in a moment. And by that, I mean right now. You burn your tongue on the <laughs> pizzole, but it's worth it. Oh, boy. One day, Grandpa clears his throat. He looks alert after his long nap. We know the tales of the great gods. We've heard stories of the feathered serpents and the four sons humans lived under. Humans lived under. Sorry, I'm old. Before this one. But today I have a story about a tree. The lingering chatter dies down and everyone listens. The sacred tree was once an ordinary woman, an Io hunter like me or you. The food in your belly and warmth of the fire make your eyelids heavy. Listen. But perhaps she was not quite like you or me. She could read the wind and follow the trail of her prey. She understood the whispering of trees, knew where the animals and made their shelter. She's the best hunter to ever walk the earth, and it wasn't enough for her. Chill wind brushes your neck, you huddle closer to the fire. She hunted down animal after animal, each rarer than the last, until she became obsessed with the rarest of all. The blue jaguar, light as the sun, radiant as the moon. The blue jaguar was full of magic and sacred to the gods. Did she find it? The others look at you in annoyance. She found the blue jaguar. Grandfather tips back his head to look to the sky. She killed the blue jaguar. And the gods were angry. What do they do? They turn the Io hunter into a tree. But why? The world must remain in balance. The blue jaguar held up the weight of the heavens. The hunter had to take the blue jaguar's place. That seems a little harsh. We hunt to survive. We harvest from the earth. But some take more than is needed. And there's always a price to pay. It's getting cold. Your eyelids are still heavy. It feels, it feels right. The hunter's punishment was to become the tree. Unable to hunt forever, holding up the heavens. All Ios go on a pilgrimage to thank the sacred tree for upholding the balance. His words finally lull you into a sleep. You wake in the middle of the night, dreaming of the sacred tree, of her terrible loneliness... The offerings have dwindled, and she doesn't know why. Fuck it up. You'll never see the sacred tree if you wait for the adults. They might decide to turn back for home tomorrow. Ooh. Maps have the mark location. Okay. Well, first of all, mom and dad's tent. Image of a key your dad wears around his neck flickers through your mind. 
could creep in close and reach in to untie his key. Mmm, tamales. Delicious. Let's roll it over. I mean, now I have no choice but to grab the key. And I get a spicy one, darling. That was close. Map sits atop a pile of papers, parchments, and trinkets. Doubt fills you. It's dark. The adults will be so angry. But without any offerings, the tree has no connections. She's alone for all eternity. See, I knew it would be like a little bit of a guilt element. But I kind of wanted to... I want to play around with that a little bit, too. Like, I don't want to just... Al's been eyeballing you all week. Oh, even his hoots sound judgmental. So can we, do we skip over the meadow or? Oh, this is us skip, this is us skipping over the meadow. Here's some in the grass. Ooh, it's a throwable thing that makes targets stuck. Sure, I'll equip some eggs. Can hover your cursor over things to get more info. Try it on enemies, environmental elements, items, bullets. Bullets? Your own skills and more. You can use your environmental elements to your advantage. Hover over the cactus to see what it does. An explosive cactus, you say. I wonder what they might want me to do with it. Oh. <laughs> How much HP you got? Okay. We can go for the boop, the punch there. And we just go for boom. That was supposed to be a punch. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go. I like this system. I like this system a lot, especially since like. I know it's going to get more complex from here, obviously. Use items here in inventory to heal after combat. But why? I'm, I'm, at, I'm at full, am I not? Yeah, I'm at full. What are you talking about, video game? Wind rustles through the upper branches of the sacred tree. They sway gently as if to greet you. Hello? You feel shy and suddenly doubtful about your offering. Maybe it's not personal enough. Well, anything's better than nothing. Get close to the tree and deliver your offering. Uh-oh. Light glimmers as you approach. So pretty. But it feels like something's watching. You realize the glimmering lights are humming. They're fireflies and they're closing in on you. Oh, they're an enemy. Makes a cool sound. You're so right. I mean, I guess I'm... I'm to fight this, I suppose, right? It feels like I'm definitely intended to. I kind of want to try something. Just, this is for science. If I shoot the arrow over here, is it going to get interrupted? No. Whoop. Another. Bop. We're actually going to walk over this way still. Oh. Oh, that was <laughs> that was supposed to be movement. I feel bad about this, to be honest. I feel like I'm... I feel like this is something I'm not supposed to be doing. You know? Okay, so we can't, like, pre-move. So th there's also nothing for touching the arrows on the ground. I'm going to trust you. Trust in the arrow there. They have, how much HP do they have? Deals damage on touch. Oh. Oh, uh oh. That. 
that's that's gonna actually do us in a little bit. So we can pick up the the arrow. What did it do? I'm not sure. Maybe it gave me one of my ability back. Or one of my, uh, like, mana points. The adrenaline from fighting suddenly leaves you. You remember that you're up way past your bedtime. So tired. Just gonna rest for a moment. Sacred tree. The great hunter spirit. Your head pounds. You open your eyes to searing light. Eh, uh, what? The sun is high over you. You fell asleep at the sacred tree. My parents are gonna kill me. You rush your feet and then you remember. My offering for the tree! You whirl around, but of course, the sacred tree is still there. She waits patiently for your offering. You pull out the rattler's tail, which seemed good enough at the time, but now seems too impersonal. Give the tail a shake. At least it makes a cool noise. It does! Donate items, or never mind. Oh, I'll do it. Just as you kneel to make your offering, a thunderous noise and gust of wind rush past your head. The heck? Diego, it's just a kid! And he makes a great target practice, heh. <laughs> Strangers speak gibberish, their faces are pale. You don't recognize what tribe their clothing's from. It must be the newcomers your father warned you about. They seem to have fallen into an argument. You should find out if he has people nearby. Oh, come on, let's play with him first. Men are dangerous. He's getting away! They fire more invisible missiles at you. My thought for running away is like, are they gonna go back to the camp? Like, are they gonna get to camp in time if I don't do something about it? Gain enough experience to buy the dash ability. You can change abilities equipped in combat by pressing the restart button in the top left corner. That's cool. Quickly clear distance and fly over holes. Zero magia, but has a cooldown of one. Okay, so we're supposed to get out of here. Oh, oh. Dash can be used to fly over holes you couldn't usually cross. Nope. Oh. Got four HP. I, I do feel like it's really run is the gimmick, right? Get out of there. <laughs> Your lungs are on fire, but you have to keep running. You're running blindly as fast as you can when you almost run right into giant monsters, but they're just machines. What is this place? The sticky black gunk Oatley hates is everywhere. There he is, get him! It's the man from earlier. The scary one reaches for you, but something else grabs you first. Come on, let me at him. Shut your crying. I'm taking him to the boss. What for? The boy can't tell can tell us where his people are. Who cares? We don't want anyone to discover us. Yeah, so we find him and keep him quiet. You wriggle free, but there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to run, you say. So I now I do have to actually fight. Oh my god, there's another one showing up down here, too. Oh, that doesn't look good. I've been had. Shoots shotgun. Okay. So I can't dash through that. We're, we're in a really bad spot. If they if they pincer us, we're cooked. Okay. Doing a little bit of trusting here. He might take the arrow for his boss there. Oh boy. Okay, so it does not okay. 
it does not matter where you dash to. They will aim at you after your dash. Also, this looks like it was an intentional loss. Anyone seen Taiko? The boy's family worried when, was worried when they couldn't find him. They were searching when the strangers came. We're under attack! Taiko, where are you? The villagers were no match for the strangers. The sacred tree didn't receive any offerings that year. They called it the year of bad luck, but there were no offerings the following years either. That's... <laughs> feels like bad ending uh, there, but... I mean, if we stayed home, I do wonder if that does help or, or what. But, hey, I mean, I, it seems like our, our character flaws developed an interesting narrative for the beginning here, at the very least. Yurka's directions are so old and messed up, it takes ages to find your way to this village. Ooh. Oh, okay, so we were never meant to be that character like for very long gain one eq oh one equipment slot gain an extra magica magia aoe lob shot shotgun arrows i was just seeing if we had any points to do it for some reason tizo Villager looks intimidated as you approach her. You don't get many strangers around here. Looking for Yorka. Eh, Estley would know. She's over there. She gestures towards the young woman by the fence. If her villagers hang up laundry without noticing you. Hey there. I'm Estley. Don't think we've met. She's so open and friendly. You look away. I'm looking for Yorka. Hey, an old friend of my grandpa's? York is a grandpa now? Young woman grins. A great grandpa, actually. Got kids of my own. Say hi to Kayo. <laughs> you notice the small kid next to Estley. <laughs> York is the closest thing to a family he got left. Strange to think he has his own blood relatives now. Are you from around here? Kayo, but York could come back soon. She looks offended, but she hates talking about your history. He's out with the cattle, but he'll be back soon. You can rest here and chat with the villagers, if you're not too good for us, that is. She turns her back to you. Hey, I like your boots. What are they made of? Rattlesnake. The villager whistles, impressed. Where'd you pick up something like that? To our country. He whistles again. What's it like over there? Dry. Like the drylands? Drier. Eh, I think they were... I see Yorka coming in with the cattle. Holy cattle, is that really you? You clasp forearms with Yorka, easily recognizing him despite the many years that have passed. What are you calling yourself these days? Tizo. Ah, suits you. I went back to Yorka long ago. The sight in his familiar and friendly face thaws you a bit. You almost feel like smiling. I think you're... Never thought I'd see an I.O. country. What brings you here, Tizo? He lowers his voice. Don't have anything to do with... You know. Nah, I ain't here to cause trouble. Just ended up here. Just ended up here. You're always the restless sort. Still, come on, just admit you wanted to see an old friend. What old friend? <laughs> ah, you haven't changed a bit. Well, don't just stand there. You hungry? The two of you share a meal, and Yorka tells you stories about his grandchildren. Neither of you bring up the past, either the good or the bad old times. You mention taking your leave, but Yorka stops you. Got some work for you if you need the cash. Nothing crazy, just some pesky lizards, and that have been attacking our cattle. All right. Good. Shouldn't cause you much trouble unless you lost your touch. Just head north, or head towards this farm and keep going east. Let's go. 
Oh, let's head out. I mean, we got enough to get an upgrade should we want it. Slap. Zero damage, zero magia with one cooldown. Ooh, that is really nice. If they're like in your face, it has a cooldown of one. That's really handy. No pun intended. I'll, t I'll take that. Toggle mute. All right, there we go. So can you like, what, turn off the story for a bit by doing that or something? It's wild. I wouldn't want to though, that's for sure right now. I am thinking it's quite good. Hey, you're Mr. Tizo, right? Mm-hmm. Before I saw you earlier when you were visiting Yorka, in the field there prepping Merzos. Bet she'd give you some, some if you stop and chat with her. You tell Yorka, did Yorka tell you about the lizards bothering us? Mm-hmm. We'll look out for bandits out that way as well. I'll deal with any I see. Ah, well, these bandits have been poaching more than their share of the wildlife. All right. Uh, I best be going. Be careful out there. So I do want to get... I want to get some of that. Hi, I saw you there earlier with Yorka. Hmm? Do you stay for a little lunch? I'm prepping this Mirza for some Puchero later. I best stay moving. At least takes this with you, then. No, oh, thanks. Good hunting. And then keep going, it said. <laughs> Frogs are legendary for their stupidity, so they're mostly safe to be around. Sometimes they'll grab a person's head thinking it's a bird. Grab a couple more. Grab a couple more and more. Tribute to the goddess of the cycle. It's been a long time since you saw a shrine to Yoza. The aura of grief is so intense, even the birds are respectfully silent. Old woman prays in front of the shrine. I'm not going to disturb her. Not enough time for to pray for all the dead that you have to mourn. Oh, man. That Yoza has an open palm as if to invite offerings. I have nothing to donate. Too many to mourn and nothing to donate. There's thin up here. Haze covers the distant rocks. This should be close. Human tracks might be a camp nearby. Fair sight here, but there's plenty of them in the mountains. Your snarls beyond some boulders. Lizards circle around a fresh carcass of a goat. Either they're about to fight or it's mating season. Maybe both. The snarling lizards notice you. Make your attacks piercing for three rounds? I mean, I might as well equip it. Ooh, instant use in battle, first aid. We shouldn't need that right now, though. Doing. I know we could run away. Hold space to preview all of the enemies' moves at once. Hey, that's really nice. go up that way. Wait, do we not have a hit anymore? Oh, we don't have a melee anymore. I didn't even realize that. You're gonna be able to bite me from there? Oh, I'm wanting to move. I keep on doing that. That is surprisingly easy to do. Keep the distance. Do we do the piercing? If we go this way, we can get the extra arrow back. But yeah, the, I did not think we had no... Um, I'm trusting that that's going to hit. No ability to melee. I just feel like that's something we have to run from. Okay, arrow. We have we have arrow selected. We're good, we're good. It's already good. Boop. 
lizard skin, some lizard eggs. Let me double check. Do we not? So this character has no melee. At least not yet. Running stab with no interrupt. Oh, man. Well, I'll be. Seems like we might not even... Do we never get a melee with an interrupt? This... Okay, the heal stuns. Does not do any damage. Cost two magia for the stun. Yeah, that was left on the goat. You know something shiny in the grass. Lucky you, it's a ring. Not worth much, but it's very pretty. Oops. Hold on. I'm a wild man. I'm going to go out for the bandit camp first. Tracks from the lizards lead here. Looks like poachers have set up camp. Leftover corpse of attack attack. Someone didn't clean up their mess. I'm not going to approach because the second I do, I'm probably going to get jumped. Attack attack corpse has already tracked some ooh, hungry local predators. Damn. I mean, I could go for the pierce. I just don't know if it's worth... God, I... I guess it's... I guess this is right. It's like, what else would it be? Okay. Okay. Do a little bit of a circling around here. But. Is that going to hit? Yes. Boop. I mean, the bugs are no problem. Let's get some distance here. Whoop. Eat dirt, bug. You hope you don't run into more messes left behind by these poachers. Four. Got nothing there. Oh, that's it? Hmm. Well, maybe as we start to head back, we're going to get interrupted. Yep. Yeah. Some folks busily set up traps over the cops. Must be the poachers that set up camp nearby. This ain't your land to be setting traps on. The man looks up in surprise and then scoffs. Keep moving, old man. I said this ain't your land. It is if we're standing on it and hunting on it and killing nosy old men on it. Oh boy. I don't know if I trust this. Maybe like here. Okay, he does have to take a turn. I, I do feel like this is the max distance of my arrow is the problem. I keep on wanting to, if I click my character, I want to wait. But it's not not letting that go. So he he's coming a little bit closer. See, the thing is, I'm not ready for that. It's like we're in a weird spot because this is not going to go where I need it to go. Because he's going to go for the gun. Okay. I think we'll sidestep it here for a sec. There we go. There we go. Much better. Boop. Okay, run back, because then we can just... Hey there, buddy. All right, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Um...
The status effect has just been applied. Status effects are special conditions. It can affect players or enemies. Yep, I know. I, I, I was the one who put it on. Okay, so that didn't even... Wasn't even quite the right call. Okay, it's fine. I thought that maybe it would uh, it would reach. That sure does. You know. Seems fine there. Okay, not bad. Not bad. New skills available. Guess the poachers won't be returning to their camp. Because uh, they're dead. Yes, I get it. All right, dodge roll. Hold on. Quickly move away from danger. Cannot be hit while rolling. So that's actually a pretty important distinction. I was wondering on this. It also does cost a magia. An extra ability slot is something that I do think will be a big deal. Multiple arrows in a cone. The fact that it only costs two. So here's the thing. Here's the big thing of note. We don't have anywhere to put those abilities right now if we want to keep the slap. Though I am immediately a little bit less excited about the slap. I kind of like the slap in the situation where we were up close doing melee and it'd be like if you go punch punch and then you're in a spot where it feels like you need to just get somebody off of you like that's kind of like but you were out of magia that's kind of what i wanted to use it on so i could see myself replacing it especially with like a, a shotgun arrow or something for what it's worth the shotgun arrows are probably just better than the regular arrows. Same amount of magia. Lands in two turns. Two damage, three magia, one cool then. Like, the thing is, if I take shotgun arrows, I could replace this. But I think that the better answer would be, like, wait and get a magia up. Well, and then we would get the versatility, and then what? We would replace that, so I don't know. Heal to the face, stun. Classic villain move, dust attack, stun multiple enemies. I think we'd be better off just saving. Might be more traps in the cops. You find and disarm the traps, helping yourself to the poacher's goods along the way. Oh, let's go. You guys safe over there? The hell? Everywhere I go, you look inside, see the remains of charred bodies. The woman who gave you the murders or the man who spoke to. What were their names? You shake your head, it's best not to remember. Always made an effort not to get too close to people. The smell churns your stomach as you stumble outside. You see more smoke and ash from the main village. Dread pools in your belly. You spur your mount to go faster. You struggle to see through the falling ashes. Gods. You take in the devastation. York's village is in ruins. Everyone's slaughtered. Well, you're not sure. You think one of them is the man who admired your boots and belts. Boots and belts. Poor saps. They're defenseless against whoever did this to them. Yorka's dead body lies outside his door. Looks like he was cut down fighting. You feel a weight upon your spirit. Oh! He's the only person left that thought of you as family. Bitter smoke chokes your throat. You're supposed to outlive me. The ashes water your eyes until tears stream down your face. So by... By inspecting that, we gain dread. Oh. Two beads on the necklace look like suns. You don't know what it means, but it's a Kanek workmanship. Could the Kanaks be responsible for the slaughter? They love fighting. But Merzeku is pretty far from the Kanek border. Besides, fighters or not, most Kanaks east side of the forest are just farmers. This hut is less burned than the others, and a noise startles you, the sound of whimpering. You find a child inside, alive. You're safe now. 
The child doesn't seem to hear you or see you. He just shakes his head and rocks. It's okay, kid. They're gone. Gramps hid me here. Everyone screamed and I and screamed and I hid. What he did was smart. Ain't no shame in surviving. Hey, you're Esley's kid, right? York is a great grandson. You got a name? Kayo. I'll get you to safety. Kayo joins your party. But not like. But not like for real, for real. Footprints in the churn mud. Boots. Newcomer boots. Anyone can wear newcomer boots, but you're wearing a newcomer belt yourself. Was it Canucks wearing newcomer boots, or newcomers wearing a Canuck necklace? Or did they just burn it all down together? Pay attention to the map. Paths made from arrows are one way. No going back once you cross them. Ooh. That being said, I do, unfortunately for me, and, and I mean you if you're enjoying it, think that it is probably time to call it the game is very good. I really, really like it. Oh, I see. I see. I see. You're right there. Gotcha. Uh, it's really good. I get the hype. I get the hype. Like, it's very simplistic, and it's not going to be for everyone, but the people who it's going to be for, I think, you know, are going to really like it. This is It's super my jam. I think it's well written. I think the combat is, is like, it's very tight. I have one complaint, and it's not even a complaint, really. It's the thing I would get used to. Is just like how easy it is to um, tell which ability you have selected at the moment. So, like, if I select an arrow, and then I wait, like, you know, I'm planning out something, and I'm like, okay, and then I'm I'm just gonna move, and then you click. It, it's it's not as like it's not super obvious. Obvious, like, yes, can you tell? Sure, but. I think that um, it's something that you would get used to as you played more and you'd appreciate that, like, the quick change between it. But my head is always like, okay, click ground, default walk, right? Uh, I'm, I'm used to, like, click and then confirm as the kind of... In most tactics game, it's, it's click the ability, confirm the ability. So if you wait in between something. So, like, but alas, you would absolutely get used to that. The other thing is... It's not really a, a complaint much, because I get why it's done. It's for accessibility. I feel like the fonts leave a little bit to be desired. Yeah, just a little bit. I think that they could have a little bit more flair without being, uh, without sacrificing uh, the style of the game too much. But let me tell you, if those are my two complaints, there's, it, it's a banger. Man, it's, a, it's like, it's top tier banger. If that is all I can come up with. So, Arco, check it out. Link at the top of the description. Uh, I I picked it up. It is 10% off for a couple more days. It is $17.99, so it's, you know, it's not cheap for a game that looks like this. People sometimes probably will have a certain expectation uh, that if it has, you know, more simple pixel graphics, then it is going to be, you know, a cheap game. That being said, it sounds like it is a full-on story experience. I really appreciate it already. And uh, I heard people saying that they're already happy to go, you know, go for second playthroughs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, like, there must it must be quite good. It must hold up still later into the game. And it has my recommend even at that price tag that, again, I did not get sent this game. I, pay, I, I paid with my own money for those that care. Because uh, I only bring that up when it's a game that like the price point will probably come into question because i saw it was it was coming to into question on the steam store page in like the discussions and stuff like that i say seems super worth it to me arco link at the top of the description my name is retromation typically i cover roguelikes and roguelites but i'm a huge fan of turn-based tactics games especially if they do something unique in the combat like a cross between real-time uh and turn-based i feel like it's a genre Pl like play space that is still i think we're still seeing it get explored in its infancy and we're waiting for the absolute banger i think this is a really like this is a, a, a really good really good entry into that sort of space alas i'm done talking thank you for watching <laughs> check out the channel though subscribe if you want to be notified when great new games come out that are flying potentially 
more under the radar than they should be. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.